Good morning. It is Vlogmas day four. I don't have my mic or my light plugged into my camera, so that's great. But I'm gonna just eat breakfast real quick before I actually get started with my day, and I need to call a friend, because I have to talk with him about something. Ooh, 100 on TikTok. Yo, my editor just DM'd me. My gaming account for, uh, for TikTok just hit 100 followers. Let's go. Doesn't quite compare to my main account. Um, go follow that one. Oh, what? The go follow that one too. But yeah, if you're into gaming, go follow that TikTok account because it's uh, it's pretty cool. I just started it. All right, look, I'm about to show you the Chick Fil A hack. You ready? This is the goaded method. I'm, I'm not lie, bro. Game on you. I'm just threw up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's so good, bro. You get the sandwich and then you put the fries and the macaroni on the sandwich. Why do you hate life? I don't get it. It's so good. You have to try it. You have to try it first. All right, so one of my friends just FaceTimed me, a different friend than the original one that FaceTimed me, and he was asking if I wanted to play Valorant, and I'm gonna stream here in a bit. I'm gonna try to stream earlier today so that I can be done by tonight, but that means I need to go get ready to stream right now before I do anything else today, which is a little bit backwards from my normal schedule, but we'll make it work. So if you guys didn't know, uh, my TikTok page, I actually have Nanoleaf as a sponsor. It's like a three month sponsorship, I think. And so they send me out some packages occasionally. Right here, we got some more of these hexagons. That's what's up there on that wall right now. And as well as that, we got some more of the limited edition ultra black triangles. These are doing a re-release. And these are actually what I have over here. They look kind of lame right now. Let me go plug everything in though. And look at them now. You can't tell me that these aren't just like the best. Also, if you've noticed, I have some more in my room right here and some more in my closet right here. I got a lot of boxes actually right there. I didn't know I had that many. So yeah, if you guys want to check out Nanoleafs, um, you know, go to their website. This is not sponsored by the way. Like this video is not sponsored. They don't sponsor my YouTube. I just actually like their products. Anyway, I am going to get ready for a stream because like I said, one of my friends called me and wanted to play on stream. So I'm gonna get this set up and then go live. After that, I got a lot of stuff left to do today, so we'll get to that. But yeah, let's go live. YouTube, if you're watching this video, look at all these people that want to say hi to you. These are all the people that enjoy the Twitch streams. That could be you, you know? You could drop by for Twitch streams, stay for a few minutes if you like it, follow and come back. And if you don't like it, you never got to watch again. But uh, yeah, the link will be in the description of this video. So if you guys are interested in like gaming or any sort of live content, uh, not any sort. But yeah, link in the description. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> So I'm cleaning off my desk right now, but I wanted to show you guys real quick because I think this is really interesting and something I don't really talk about all that much, but kind of the work that goes in behind the scenes of some of my videos. Not the work that goes in, but just like the effort I put in sometimes. So I have like planning in this in this journal of a bunch of YouTube videos that I've done. This is just kind of like my, my YouTube journal. So it's not any one thing in particular, like it's not just video ideas or just like planning or just reflection. It's a bunch of things in one. It's just basically anytime I do anything involving YouTube, I write it down in here. I don't even know what video this is from, but I have info about B-roll switching between different shots of stuff in my room, all of my setup, food out, and then fade SFX of shower in over B-roll, cut to clip of water coming out of shower head, cut to me at desk explaining context of video, things to mention. Okay, so this is one of my videos where I was like fixing burnout or whatever, because things to mention says, been feeling you motivated, burnt out, sleep schedule, lots of caffeine, too much junk food, and then turn the page, there's more. Here's the plan for the scheduling of the video. Go get good breakfast. There's potential places for what to get for breakfast. And then like, like I, I plan out my videos basically. Y'all don't need to see like exact specifics of everything. Here's a morning routine video plan where I wake up. Um, I have like a little intro thing, like brief notes of that. Ceiling angle montage of me making my bed, um, brushing teeth, cutting to A-roll. Um, a little like, I don't script things, but I write down the idea of what I'm gonna say so that I like remember in the morning. And then a get ready with me outfit making for the gym, which I was supposed to have like only be a couple minutes I needed to cut that down and then make G Fuel which is my pre-workout at the time grab AirPods wallet keys Rice Krispie I had like shots of doing all that rapid fire like cutting and then b-roll car b-roll next page go to gym talk about what day it is um, for my body area wise like what I'm targeting and then show routine short gym montage maybe 20 seconds back in car talk about what's next like this is this is crazy 
I'd forgotten about some of these older videos. Here's another planning page. I think this one's pretty good as well. Building healthy habits, um, all the stuff I was gonna do in this video. This was actually a pretty good video. I was proud of this one. It did pretty well. I have all of the different things I was gonna do in this video. And then I even went as far as to plan out the thumbnail. Left is me smiling on phone in my room with an X. And then right is me holding up a book and making a weird face. I didn't end up doing that thumbnail, but I thought that was gonna do well. I just had the idea for it. Or I have like a triple cutout style thumbnail with gym, guitar, and reading for like, you know, to fit the theme of the video. Here's another good one, the uh, the fall video that I was gonna make. I don't know if I actually ended up making this one. I think I made like a fall room revamp, but I didn't make this specifically. Wait, no, this this was the room revamp. Yeah, yeah, Because this was all the things that I have, which was like nano leaf ceiling lights. I was planning out all the things I was gonna use for the room that I already had, all the things that I needed to get, and then the things I was gonna do in that video. I had a thumbnail planned out as well. I was gonna use the .5 lens on my phone on the floor at the corner of my bed, looking upwards at me sitting in the bed. I'm wearing a fall outfit with my shoe on the camera up close. I thought that was just gonna like look cool. I didn't end up using that thumbnail. I kind of second guess my thumbnails a lot. I had TikTok ideas written here randomly. I had uh, YouTube video ideas sitting here randomly. Here's some video stuff for the gaming channel that I had written down. <laughs> I have a list of um, ideas that I had for Vlogmas videos, which is like the things I'm doing right now. So instead of just having like random subjectless videos, I had ideas for them. I still haven't done a lot of those because I'm just like settling into Vlogmas. I think this is day four right here. And it's technically only my third vlog because on day two, I didn't actually film a vlog. It was a different video. So I'm still getting into the swing of things, but a lot of this stuff is coming. Anyway, there's more in here. I'm not going to go through it all. It would take too long, um, but I just kind of thought it was a cool thing to share because I know a lot of people think that I just kind of like, oh, I just pick up the camera and record randomly. But there is more work that goes in even down to just like planning the videos out, which seems like something so simple. But I do put a lot of effort into planning out my videos because I'm kind of, I tend to second guess myself a lot and overthink things on the day of. So like I'll get to the day that I'm filming and I'll be like, oh, like what do I do for this shot? What do I do for this shot? Like how do I make this one good? So I'll stay up the night before and like plan things out to make sure that on the day of when I start recording like I'm ready and I have things planned when I script videos it doesn't come off as like genuine and I don't think it makes as good of a video so I don't ever script things but I just write down the idea and like the plan this is definitely not a straight camera angle anyway um for you guys out there we're like trying to become a youtuber I hope that's at least somewhat helpful just to kind of show a little bit more behind the scenes for those of you that don't care um I don't know if I've already lost you I guess not if you're watching right now so yeah that's cool appreciate that I'm gonna go back to cleaning though because I need to get that done or else I'm gonna feel lazy today